Okay, I'm washing my hands. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, I'm Hector, I'm gonna be your student physical therapist today. Hi. Mr. Thatch, I, uh, what brings you in today? Parkinson's. Okay, yeah. all right. I hear you were in the hospital recently and got uh, released? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions first to kind of go over a history. Okay, sure. um, do you live by yourself or with somebody else? I live by myself. Okay, all right. Um, and let's see, uh, do you know where you are today? Yeah, okay, this is a re rehab facility. Okay, good, do you know the date? It's 17th or 18th. Okay, and can you spell your last name for me? Yeah, T-H-A-C-H. -H. Okay, all right. Um, any past medical history I should be aware of? I've read your chart, but yeah, I mean, see if I miss I mean, anything. I've had Parkinson's for the past nine years. Okay, all right. Um, and uh, let's see. Okay, and are you on any medications right now? Some medication that helps me with Parkinson's, like okay, levodopa. All right. Any changes lately? No changes. Okay, good. All right, and what are your goals? What do you want to get out of therapy? I just mainly want to just be able to go on my uh, with my daily life just and just be able to cope with Parkinson's okay okay I've accepted everything so it's just trying to make things a little better for myself okay all right and okay Uh, before we go on, uh, I'm going to have to, when we go to do a few things, I'm going to work on your range of motion, um, on your bed mobility. Um, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah, of okay. course. I'm going to have to have access to the arm. That's fine. Okay, so we got time to think. Okay, perfect. And are you feeling any shortness of breath? No. Any right dizziness? No. Okay, good. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do first is this. I'm just going to do uh, an assessment. I'm going to take a look and see where you're at. So we can establish a baseline and see what we need to work on, okay? Sounds good. Okay. All right, so first thing I want you to do is can you bring your arms up like this? That's as high as you can go. Okay, go ahead and bring them back down. Okay, good. Now I just want you to relax. Let me do the work. I want to see it. We can get you all the way through a full range of motion passively. Okay, and it looks like we can on that side. Relax. Okay. Good. Can you bring your arms out to the side? Okay, same thing. Go ahead and relax. Let me do the work. Okay. Relax. Okay. Can you bring your elbows up for me like this? Okay. Go ahead and hold this arm in that position. Don't let me push you down. Hold it, hold it, breathe, rest. How about this arm? Go ahead and relax. Do it again, bring it up. Don't let me push you down, ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Good, okay. Can you bring this knee up for me like this? No. Okay, relax, how about this side? Okay, and rest, good. And I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? Relax, let me see if I can bring your leg up. Okay, good. Let's do the other side. Good. Can you kick with this leg for me like this? Okay. Can you do that one more time for me? Don't let me push it down, okay? Ready, hold it, hold it, hold it, rest. How about this leg, same thing, kick for me. Okay, you weren't quite able to go through all the way. Go ahead and rest. Good. 
All right, and can you bring your foot back, slide your heel all the way back as far as you can? Okay, go ahead and now bring it forward just a little for me. Right there is good. Keep it in that position. Don't let me pull it out. Hold it, hold it, hold it, rest. Good. Same thing with this leg, slide your heel back. Okay. And hold it, don't let me pull it, and rest. Good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that kind of gives me an idea of some things we need to work on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, functional assessment. First thing I'm going to do is get the hard stuff out of the way. So I want to take a look and see how you walk. Okay, so we're going to do that first. Uh, let me put a gait belt on you, just in case anything happens. Uh, I want to be able to uh, hold on to you, okay? All right, and actually, before we do the walking, we're going to check your, um, I forgot one thing. Uh, we're going to check your sensory, um, your neurological system. Just make sure that um, everything is uh, up to par as far as, you know, making sure that you're able to feel in the proper places. So. Um, what it's going to feel like, um, and I was reading in your chart that your uh, left side is more effective than your right side. Is that true? I believe so, yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what, it's gonna feel, what it should feel like on the right side, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to test your left side, okay? okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test your light touch, okay? And it's going to feel like that, okay? So when you feel that, I want you to just say yes. Okay. Okay? All right. So go ahead and look that way for me and close your eyes. Okay, let me know when you feel it. Okay. You feel that? Barely. Okay. Some light breeze on my arm. Okay, just say yes if you feel it. Okay. Okay. Also do it on the foot. So, okay. All right. So that's good. And let's actually do your other side just to compare. Look that way. Close your eyes. Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. You can go ahead and open your eyes. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take a look and see how your walking is. Put this gate belt on you. All right, let me know when you get up if you get dizzy, okay? Okay. Can you pull it for me? Bring your arms up. Is that too tight or is that okay? That's okay. All right. All right. And I was reading in your chart that you've been using a walker to get around? Right, that's correct. Okay. All right, so we have one here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you stand up, you're going to walk down that way, and then once we get to the end of that line, I want you to go ahead and turn around and then come sit back down, um, actually here, okay? All right, go ahead. And I'm going to be standing by just in case. Good, you're doing good. How you feeling? Good. We're gonna have a seat right.
right here so you can uh, we're gonna sit down and then I'm gonna have to lay down. Sit down for now. Okay, good. Um, what I'm going to have you do next is I'm going to have you go ahead and lay down on your back, okay? Uh, can you go ahead and do that for me? Good. Okay. Good. All right. And are you comfortable or do you want to, if you bend your knees, that helps kind of protect your back. All right, so taking a look at uh, some of the things that we just worked on, we just took a look at your walking, um, your transfer, and your bed mobility. Um, so look, looking over your history, you say that you have a little bit of difficulty with bed mobility? Right. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on two things. We're gonna do uh, PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. That's just basically gonna help with your range of motion, your strength, and your coordination, okay? And that's going to be pretty important because for bed mobility, you need those things, okay, to perform bed mobility. And then also what we're going to do uh, is we're going to work on some uh, rolling side to side, okay, because okay. obviously we want to get you back to where you're able to get up and down on your own right. out of bed. So that's pretty important. So we're going to work on that, okay? okay. All right, I'm going to bring the bed up first. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is, can you go ahead and scoot over that way a little for me, please? Yep, push with your feet, lift your hips up, and scoot over, that's good. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're gonna reach over with this arm, okay? And I want you to reach over, grab here, and I'll help you. Good, and now roll on to your side, good. And now let's go on your back. Okay, good. Now let's do that one more time. Good. And go back. Good. And as you get better at that, uh, we would do different things. We would add a little bit of resistance to it, going both ways uh, to work on those trunk muscles that help with that rolling. Okay. Okay? All right. Uh, go ahead and scooch back to the middle a little for me. Okay. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on that PNF that I talked about. Uh, we're gonna work on your left side, since your left side is the one that's a little more uh, limited, okay? Right. So what I want you to do first is while we're doing this, when we start, I want you to relax. Just let me do the work. Uh, we're gonna work on D1 flexion and extension. Okay. Okay? All right, so just go ahead and relax. Good, so just let me do it, okay? okay. Just relax. Okay, and we would do this for at least a few more times, uh, but now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you help me, okay. okay? So I want you to start trying to do it on your own. Okay. I'm still gonna help you out, okay? All right. It's like you're getting a bug from your ear. Right. And then throwing it away. Okay. Good. And relax. Okay. So that's our PNF pattern. Uh, working on coordination, working on that strength and range of motion. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead and sit up for me. Okay. You did great. Okay. How do you feel? Feel good. Any shortness of breath or dizziness? No. Any pain? No pain. Okay. Do you have any questions? No questions. Okay.
did an excellent job. Thank you for working with me today. Have a great day. That concludes our treatment.